many of you, it's never too early to start planning that summer getaway. Yeah, hard to believe. Summer is just around the corner. And in the current edition of Yankee Magazine, they're highlighting six special places that you'll want to discover, and many of them right here in Connecticut. Joining us here from Yankee Magazine is their contributing editor, Kim Knox. Beckus, welcome here to CT Style. Good morning. It's great to be here. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for joining us. Yankee Magazine has been around for ages, right? For more than 80 years now, and yet still so relevant and still telling New England stories and sharing New England secrets that people really want to hear. So mm -hmm. um, we are featuring several Connecticut places in the current issue, and I think we want to talk a little bit about Chester, Yes, let's start with Chester. We have this regular column that's called Could You Live Here? Okay. And so we're always looking for places where people uh, can feel that sense of New England. You know, people dream of New England. What would it be like to live there? So we want that. But Chester also has this wonderful uh, contemporary sense to it. Always that sense that something's about to happen, you know, whether it's a Friday night art gallery opening with wine and cheese, or Sundays they shut down all of Main Street for the farmer's market, everyone turns out. It's really a place where you can feel part of a community almost instantly. And I love that this feature is online at yankeemagazine.com. If you go and scroll down and read the comments, there's already a family from Australia that says, we are moving to Connecticut oh. and we're enchanted by Chester. That's you know, right. that idea that it, it resonates far, far beyond our borders. Have you ever been to Chester? I think I've driven by it. There's an airport there, right? There's a ferry, a Chester uh, uh, Hadlam ferry, ferry, I think, okay. that takes right? folks to Gillette Castle. Yeah. Ah, Did I know that or what? Right. Right. I'll Party tell you, it's the traffic here. reporter in that's me. It, that's <laughs> it. There are three words that got me to Chester recently, and it's lobster gorgonzola bread. Oh, oh my. That would do it. That's enough. <laughs> yes, that right. That's all it. it takes for me, you know, lobster yeah. gorgonzola bread. Three wonderful things. That's at uh, Patacon 1850, which is the great local pub, which is also something you want Ooh. in a place to live. Exactly. I'll we'll have to right. check that out. Yeah. Right, yeah. So let's, up. let's move a little closer to your next Yeah, show. Woodbury. Yeah. I'm uh, pretty close to Woodbury, the neighboring town. It is really charming. You know, I, we decided this month that we were going to focus on hidden New England destinations, mm -hmm. under the radar places that maybe aren't on everyone's uh, you know, must-do list, but they also aren't the places people sit in traffic for hours trying mm -hmm. to get to. That's you true. know, So everyone thinks of Cape Cod in the summer, they think of Newport. Mm -hmm. So how about great places like Woodbury, Connecticut, settled sure. in the mid-1600s, wonderful for antiquing. And I, you know, I think of antiquing these days as like Pinterest in 3D, yeah. you know? Right. What, <laughs> what did people save, you know? And what is the artistry there? What has endured? It's really fun to go antiquing. Yeah. You don't have to be shopping for furniture. You can just really look at all of those wonderful, inspiring things. Right. You know, Marilyn Monroe used to live there, the old drugstore. No kidding. Pretty fascinating stuff. Wow. Some incredible restaurants in Woodbury. So Great yeah. history. Yeah, I, I recommend see. that. And uh, let's move over to Rhode Island now. So What's the standout? You know, I live in Connecticut, but, you know, sometimes I get to spend time in Rhode Island. My daughter's so in love with it now, she says she wants to go to college there. Mm. So we, um, we spent a great uh, amount of time in Galilee, which is a tiny fishing village mm -hmm. uh, in Narragansett. It's so um, authentic. This is still a very much a working commercial port. You can walk right out on the docks and buy your lobsters from the lobstermen. Fresh. How you know, great the is restaurants, that? <laughs> think about it. There's one uh, restaurant owner who told me my delivery guy walks to me with my seafood. So uh, you can't get much fresher than that. You can go Beautiful. squidding. Have you ever been squidding? No. no. We, right. We, I mean, we, how, we should do that on the show. Can we all go can squidding we go sometime? Squidding? Please. Would, you know, waiting to go squidding. It's, wow. You go out at night, late at night until 1 a.m. The squid are not that bright. Um, yeah. Calamari is the official appetizer of Rhode Island. Uh, I think you shine the light, the squid come right up and you can haul them in. And, no kidding. You know, I took my so family awesome. fluke fishing. Um, it's, it's a way to really, I think, remind yourself that, um, you know, these days we hunt for food, we open the Yelp app, you know, mm. but you can go and you can go clamming in Rhode Island. It costs $11 to be a licensed yeah. Can't beat shell that, fisherman. Right? Cool. So a lot of ways to kind of go back to, you know, the sea and really experience it. First hand. Kim, thank you for joining us. Make it's sure you guys great. check out uh, yankeemagazine.com mm -hmm. for a little bit more information. Uh, some some great stuff in this edition. And also, you know, they're online, so you can read everything right there. And uh, we're going to send things over to somebody. Megar, are you still painting pictures over there? I'm still painting pictures, uh, Ryan. Yeah.